Hey guys, welcome back to CEBOX Tutorial Channel and this is our problem number 5 for method of superposition. But before we start to this problem, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. The trapezoidal loading is carried and by the simply supported beam AB. The beam is a steel tube as shown in the cross-sectional area. Determine the displacement of the beam at mid span okay, at mid span and the slope angle of the elastic curve at the end a use e is equivalent to 200 gigapascal so itong problem na to is maganda kasi mayroon na tayong ano value ng e sir may value nga tayo ng e pero wala naman tayong value ng i di ba pero totoo sin meron bakit kasi given naman yung ating cross sectional area so magmumula diyan yung ating moment of inertia so siguro solve muna natin yun Kung naalala ninyo sa inyong ano, statics of rigid bodies, ang moment of inertia ng circle is equivalent to pi r raised to 4 over 4. Okay? So, dito kasi may dalawa tayong r. Ito. Yan. Yung ano, um, outer r and inner. Ah, sorry. R pala. Radius pala. Sorry. Yan. Yung malaking r tapos yung maliit na r so ibig sabihin this is pi over 4 then multiplied by r to the 4th na malaki then minus maliit na r to the 4th ayan so makukuha natin yung ating moment of inertia so pi over 4 then multiplied by yung malaking r is uh, 80 then raised to 4 then minus uh, 70 raised to 4. Then, pinutin ninyo yung engineering format button. So, 13.312 times 10 raised to 6. Tama ba? Okay, 312 times 10 raised to 6. And this is in millimeters to the fourth. So, meron na tayong moment of siya. Ngayon, ito yung ating uh, support reaction at A and B. Tapos, ang pinapahanap sa atin is ano, no, displacement sa mid-span. Okay? So, kunin lang natin yung ginamit natin dito sa problem number 3. Okay, ito. Ayan. Okay, so, solve muna natin yung EIY1 natin due to uh, uniformly distributed load. Ah, yes, by the way, uh, yun naman ang practice natin, di ba? Magmula sa status of rigid bodies. Kapag ang ating loads is trapezoidal, ang ginagawa natin is sinahati natin yung loadings natin sa dalawa. So, ito kasi mahati into what? Into rectangular distributed load and triangular distributed load. So, this is 15 kN per meter and this is 30 kN per meter. So, ibig sabihin, yung height na ng ating triangular load is also equivalent to 15 kN per meter. So, do dun muna tayo sa ano? triangular load. Ah, sorry, sa rectangular load. So, E, I, Y, 1 is equivalent to W. Ang W natin is 15. Okay, so, times 10 raised to 3 na natin para maging Newton per meter tayo. Then, multiplied by X. Ang kinukuha natin kasi is mid-span. If this is 3 meters, therefore, ang ating X is located at 1.5 meters. Again. Okay, then over 24, then multiplied by L. Ang L natin dito is 3, then minus 2 times L times X na 1.5 squared plus 1.5 cube. So, ang ating unit dito is meter cube. Cancel to, cancel to. Makukuha natin ang value ng EIY1. So, 15 times 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 1.5 over 24 multiplied by 3 squared minus 2 times L na 3 times X na 1.5 squared plus 1.5 cubed. So, this is, oh, negative ang makuha sa lot. Bakit negative? Okay. Ah, ito. Cube kasi siya. Kaya ako, dapat magiging positive to. Eh. Kasi, 
positive talaga yung mga makukuha, dapat natin nasagot. Tapos, check lang natin kung ano yung magiging effects niya, kung magiging downward ba siya or negative. Kaya nagtaka ako eh. Okay. So, this is cube. 15, 18, uh, 8, 20.313. And this is Newton meter cube. Tapos, ang effects ito is what? Downward. Ayan. And then, next, para sa ating ano, triangular load, check natin. No? Yung ating kasi triangular load dito is baliktad. So, kung kukunin natin yung midspan deflection, dito lang yan. Ito yung kanyang X na kalahate. So, yung ating kasi baliktad, andito yung triangular load, no? pag ganyan. So, anyway, wala naman tayong problema sa equation natin kasi at any distance X naman to eh. Kasi kahit na nakaganto siya, ibig sabihin, mag-start tayo dito. Ayan. Ito yung magiging X natin. Diba? Pero anyway, ang X natin is nasa midspan naman, no? So, pares lang naman na ang X natin dito at dito is 1.5 meters. So, wala tayong problema sa ating equation. So, copy na lang natin yan. So, this is our PIY which is equivalent to W X over 360L multiplied by 7L to the fourth minus 10L squared X squared plus 3X raised to 4. And ang ating equation. So, this is our EIY2. is equivalent to W na 15 then. So, 15 times 10 raised to 3. Newton per meter multiplied by x na 1.5 meters over 360 multiplied by 3 meters L. Then multiplied by 7 multiplied by 3 raised to 4 minus 10 multiplied by 3 squared multiplied by 1.5 squared plus 3 times siguro usog natin dito. Ayan. Okay, ang tagal. <laughs> Medyo ang delay kasi yung, ano, yung journal natin. Ayan. So, 3 times x na 1.5 raised to 4. So, ano ba yung magiging value na, or ano natin, unit dito? Ang magiging unit natin dito is meter to the fourth. Ayan. Kasi naka-L, no? L raised to 4. So, meter to the fourth. So, check natin kung ano yung magka-cancel out. Ayan. Cancel to, cancel to. Then, ito naman. So, consistent pa rin tayo sa ating unit, Newton meter cube. So, this is our EIY2. 15 times 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 1.5 over 360 multiplied by L times 7 times L raised to 4 minus 10 multiplied by L na 3 squared multiplied by X na 1.5 squared then plus 3 times 1.5 raised to 4. Tama ba? Okay. So, this is 7910.156. And this is Newton meter cube. So, downward. So, therefore, makukuha na natin yung total natin na EIY at midspan. So, add lang natin yan. 15820.313 plus 7910.156. So, 20. Uh, 23730.469 And this is Newton meter cube So punin natin yung value mismo ng y meets pan Kasi meron naman tayong ano eh E and I So this is 23730.469 Convert natin into ano Into millimeter cube no that is 1,000 cube. So, that is times 10 raised to 9 Newton millimeter cube over E. Na 200 gigapascal, no? So, that is times 10 raised to 3 Newton per millimeter squared. Kasi yun yung megapascal. Multiplied by I. Ang I natin is 13.312 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. Cancel to. Cancel to. Matitira is millimeter dito. Then, mawawala rin yung ating newton. So, ito yung ating sagot para sa wide midspan. 
to 237.30.469 times 10 raised to 9 over 200 times 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 13.312 times 10 raised to 6. So 8.913 millimeters. And this is downward. So next naman is yung ating slope angle sa point A natin. Ayan. Okay, so kung ganun man, dito sa point A, no? Hahanapin ah, natin yung ating theta with respect to x-axis. Ayan. So ganun ulit. Combination lang din naman yan ng ano, equation. So siguro buuin na lang natin dito, no? Slope at A. So, EIY, theta A, is equivalent to check natin dito. Ayan. So, ito at A, no? Equal lang naman to, no? So, theta is equivalent to or kunin na natin yung mismo equation, no? So, W L cube over 24. So, ito para sa uh, ano, rectangular load. And then, add natin ito. Ayan. So, dito, Iba na dapat ang, or dapat naitindihan natin, di ba? Kasi yung ating, ano, loadings is nakaganito. Ayan. So, ang gusto natin makuha kasi is ito, yung slope niya. Pero sa ating equation kasi, yung slope na yun is andito sa ating theta b. Ayan. So, ito yung kukunin natin na equation. So, i-add lang natin to. Plus W L cube over 45. Ayan. So, this is for load 1. Ito naman yung para sa load 2. So, kung tayo sa ating problem number 4, dapat consistent tayo sa, ano, sa unit. Diba? Kasi yung ating, ano, theta A is, ano, clockwise. Ayan. Ano ba yung magiging, ano, effect ng ating, uh, ano, uh, rectangular load in terms of slope? Clockwise then. Ano ba yung magiging effects ng ating uh, triangular load sa ating slope? Clockwise din. Kaya ipag a lang natin sila. pag lang natin yan. So, ang W natin is pares na 15 times 10 raised to 3 multiplied by, ano to? L cube, no? L cube. So, this is 3 cube. Then, over uh, 24. Then, yung isa naman is 15 times 10 raised to 3 multiplied by L cube then. Then, over 45. So, 2, 5, 8, 7, 5. So, 2, 5, 8, 7, 5. Tama ba? Yan. And this is Newton meter squared. So, ba't siya naging meter squared? Kasi ito, ano, uh, Newton per meter, hindi ba? Then, ito naman is meter cube. So, cancel, cancel. Ang matitira dito is meter squared. So, ngayon, Ang ating, ano, uh, theta is equivalent to 25875 Newton meter squared. So, convert natin yung meter squared into millimeter squared. So, that is times 10 raised to 6. So, ito nyan is Newton millimeter squared over E na 200 times 10 raised to 3 Newton per millimeter squared multiplied by 13.312 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the 4th. Yeah. So, makukuha natin yung ating slope at A. 25, 875 times 10 raised to 6. Oh, and then, gamitin natin yung ano, ito. Yeah. So, this is 25875 times 10 raised to 6. Okay, so 0 0.00972 regions. 0 0.00972 regions. So, pwede rin mo rin namang makonvert to into degrees. Ang gagawin lang natin is mumultiply natin ng 180 degrees over pi. So, 0.557 degrees. So, parehas lang yan na tama. Then, ano yung kanyang ano? Uh, rotation. Kaya nga kasi natin malaman, di ba? So, based dito, ang ating rotation is clockwise. Ayan. Clockwise rotation yung ating slope at A. 
Okay? So ngayon, kung hindi nyo masyadong ano, naintindihan yung nasa table, paso ba kayo magkamali eh, di ba? Kasi, ang nakalagay rito, ating triangular load, is ito, theta A. Possible na ito yung uh, kunin ninyo na equation. Pero hindi, di ba? Ang kaya natin equation is ito. Kasi yun yung, uh, tawag rito, kung uh, kumbaga yung ating support at B dito sa ating given formula is yung ating support at A. Kasi andun yung ating uh, height. ng ating triangular load. So, yun lang. Intindihin nyo lang din talaga yung table dahil hindi ay makakamali sa ating magiging solution sa mga problems. Okay? Ayan. So, ganyan lang siya. Kasimple. And, ayan. I, we think naman na hindi naman kami nakukulang sa solution, no? Kasi pinapakita rin naman namin yung uh, unit analysis para consistent tayo sa ating unit. And at least, di ba, mas natututo kayo na mag-analyze ng unit and mag-convert ng unit. Ayan. So, this is our problem number 5 for method of superposition. So, we hope na marami kayong natutunan sa aming video tutorial na to. So, if you uh, like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. Again, this is CE Box Tutorial Channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.